Hey everyone, it's Josh from WA Production, and today I'm really excited to share with you our new plugin, Obsidian. This might be my favorite plugin that we've released recently. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but it just gives you the power to create these awesome effects on your sounds. It's a hybrid coloring, uh, hype plugin uh, with delay built in as well. So it just suits the need for me in my productions whenever I feel I need to add some character to a sound for a transition or just for a unique effect in my in my project. Um, I find myself going back to Obsidian pretty regularly these days. So um, I think the best way for you to understand the plugin is to see it in action and to hear it. Uh, so let's get started. So the first thing you'll see in Obsidian is this center XY plane. So uh, that has the frequency and height uh, settings. So the frequency is, is essentially frequency modulation. Um, this plugin is very simple to use, but there's a lot that is going on behind the scenes, uh, lots of layered effects and things like that. So um, you can drag to the left and right to adjust that parameter. And then the Y is the hype, which is you know kind of a combination of uh, stereo width, um, chorus effects, just a bunch of uh, color that is added to the sound to give it a very unique character. Um, so, you know, you don't really need to know all the details of what's going on in the background. That's kind of the secret sauce, but uh, you can absolutely just play around with it and you'll hear it for yourself. Um, up here we have a handy AB section so that you can compare a couple of different uh, versions or presets uh, in your plugin and see what sounds better on your sound. You can copy from A to B. You can undo, redo, etc. You can have the limiter on or off. Um, you have your selection of presets right here, which are just a bunch of different uh, characters essentially that you can add to your sounds. You can uh, save your own presets, delete them, etc. Uh, you've got the input and output gain here, and then your power button. Um, over here is your mix slider. So um, obviously this is 100% wet. You'll only be hearing the processed audio. Um, and you can have a mix of your dry audio in there as well. We already talked about the XY plane. That's the heart of the plugin. Uh, we've also got this randomizer button, which will uh, randomize the location of the XY plane, the settings there, and you can just kind of play around and uh, see. It's a fun way to see quickly um, how different settings sound on your uh, audio source. And then down here is the optional delay option. So you can turn that on and then you could have it do it in sync mode with your DAW. Um, so it's playing in time or you can have it in free mode, which will be in milliseconds here. Um, that can create some really interesting effects that are not necessarily uh, in sync with the timing of your song, but are more creative. Um, I kind of like that, especially for like very short ones or really long ones. There's some interesting stuff you can do or sync will let you choose from a number of uh, different rhythms. And then feedback as in most delay plugins, that's pretty much how long it continues to delay for. Um, all right, so that's really it. The controls, as you can see, of Obsidian are very simple. So let's hear how it sounds. I've just thrown in a few different kinds of sounds so we can hear the difference on some different types of elements. Um, first, we've got just kind of a melody here. Okay, so that's without Obsidian on. So now let's try a few different uh, presets on it and hear how that sounds. I like that one. It's pretty cool texture, maybe for like the background of a game or, you know, something low down in your mix. And uh, yeah, that one's pretty cool. Um, so next here, I've got, I believe, a bass sound. So 
Let's listen to it without Obsidian on. Okay, so this time let's try and just uh, play with the settings ourselves. Um, we've I've got it on now, fully mixed. I like how it's sounding there. Let's see if we want any delay. I'm going to turn on uh, free mode. Sounds kind of cool with a little slapback delay. Obviously with a bass, it gets a little crazy if you have a, a long delay time, but for now I'll leave that off. Um, one other cool thing that you can do is that this XY plane is automatable. So if we uh, want to add an automation clip in FL Studio, obviously it's a bit different in each DAW, but we will. Uh, you can do this in any DAW, just uh, it works a bit differently in each one. Um, so that will adjust the height because um, that's that parameter, and then we can add one also that will um, adjust the X plane. And so now we can play around with that and have these move around. And obviously you could do something more interesting than just a, a simple thing like that. I mean, we can, you know, make there be a really uh, more exciting kind of rhythm here to your automation. So a lot of fun to play with, uh, you know, you can automate it to a knob on your controller and you can adjust that accordingly. So um, I've enjoyed playing with that as well. Um, all right, let's go to this next sound. Okay, so let's try some more presets. Let's start at the end this time and see how that sounds. Turn it on. That's pretty cool. I really like that. It gives it like an ethereal uh, soundscape feel, uh, something that you could use for a lot of different things. I really like that. I mean, we could maybe tone down the feedback a little bit so that it's not as aggressive with the delay. Fun. Yeah, I like that one. Um, all right, next we've got a drum loop, so we can also use it on drums. Let's hear how that sounds. It can be used on pretty much anything. Okay, this is it dry. All right, now let's throw on some presets.
That's pretty awesome. So, you know, there's kind of two ways you can use this. You can use it to create a totally weird out there crazy sound that is totally unrecognizable almost from the original sound that you had or you can just use it to taste maybe with a little less delay or no delay um, with a, a lower mix level um, and you can just kind of color the sound in a way that makes it more interesting and doesn't sound like it's straight out of a sample pack or something like that. Um, I think producers that use tools like this, not that there are many tools like this, but producers who use some combination of coloring, saturation, um, different ways to kind of destroy or mangle their sound, um, end up having the more unique sound and they don't sound like everybody else. And it doesn't sound very uh, vanilla and straight out the box. So definitely uh, think that producers who use tool tools like this on their sounds uh, get a lot more out of their final productions. All right, and then last, let's look at a, a vocal. So this is it, dry. Caught up in a lie. Caught up in a lie. Caught up in a lie. That one's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I mean, this uh, this plugin Obsidian can be used on pretty much any kind of sound just to give it a new character, a new space, new delay sound, um, and just kind of color it in a more a unique way than you might do with with other plugins um, you can use it a little bit or you can use it a lot and make a whole new soundscape out of it but uh, I find that a lot of times I've got a sound in a mix I know that it belongs there but it just needs a little something more to make it stand out or to make it fill a little bit more of the spectrum or to kind of just make it a little less boring and I find myself going back to Obsidian pretty regularly now and throwing it on there and it just does a great job. So I'm really excited about this one. I hope you guys are too. You can get it now at waproduction.com. Go check it out. You can download the free demo before buying it and uh, suggest you try it out and see how it sounds on your sounds. So thanks for watching. Josh from WA Production and I will see you next time.